And with that flag now down, local civil rights leaders want to bring attention to what they call symbols of hate at Richland High School. A Fort Worth group says it filed complaints over the school's mascot and the names of its spirit groups, the Dixie Bells and Johnny Rebs. Fox 4's Zahid Arb does the school now with reaction. Zahid. Well, Heather, the group filed a complaint with the Texas Education Agency and the Department of Education asking Birdville ISD to get rid of any references to names here at Richland High School that they say demeans, demoralizes, and devalues students. But not everyone here agrees with that. At Richland High School, tradition and political correctness now cross. There's been lots of like Twitter fights and stuff about it. Sophomore Darian Petty says he doesn't see what the big deal is about his school's mascot, the Rebel. When I think of Rebel, I never think of Confederate flag and stuff. I think of it as just like any other mascot. We have to set it down, and it's time to take it down. But Reverend Kiev Tatum with the Fort Worth chapter of the Civil Rights Group, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, says the symbol intended to bring students together does the opposite. It represents a symbol of white supremacy that says white people are superior to everyone else. Tatum says a complaint emailed to the Texas Education Agency and federal complaint to the Department of Education also asked that the names of the school spirit groups, the Dixie Bells and Johnny Rebs, also be changed. Names the group says are associated with the Confederacy. It's a bunch of garbage, all garbage. Everybody's wanting something to get up on their soapbox about. Some parents say the complaint is taking things too far. Leave the name alone. It's part of what the school was brought up to be. The Confederate flag sure has been used for a sign of hate. I think it's time to get rid of that. But the, the Rebs and all that stuff, I don't think it really matters that much. But other parents say the complaint is justified, even if it makes one student uncomfortable. If that's what a person wants to do, that's your personal right. But I don't think it should be on a building where taxpayers are paying for it. SCLC's complaint says it wants rebels and all Confederate references gone by the first day of school. Ignorance is the root. Bigotry, hatred, discrimination, white supremacy are the fruit. But in the eyes of Petty, they won't just go away. That's our tradition. It's kind of hard to kind of cut that off and stop it right there. It's both the TEA and Birdville ISD say they still haven't received the official complaint yet, so they just couldn't comment on the matter just yet. Now, Richland AHI also has a very active booster club, but parents also told me they just didn't want to discuss the matter. Heather? All right. Zahid, live tonight. Thank you.